Hey, what's going on y'all? Jimmy Macrum. It's time for the dealer's choice, the second of the month. This is October. I'm not sure when you're watching it. Um, this is Miller's Crossing. Cohen Brothers. Saw the Big Lebowski. Saw Fargo. Cash is occupied. I gotta get this in. Let's get to it. I'm talking about ethics. You know I'm a sporting man. I like to lay the occasional bet. <laughs> But I ain't that sporting. When I fix a fight, say I uh, pay a three to one favor to throw a goddamn fight, I figure I got the right to expect that fight to go off for three to one. But every time I lay in bed with a son of a bitch, Bernie Bonbon, before I know it, the odds is even up. Or worse, I'm betting on the short money. Sell it to a Beanie Burnbaum? It's fucking hilarious. The point is, Bernie. Ain't satisfied with the honest dollar he can make off the victim. He ain't satisfied with the business I do on his book. He is selling tips on how I bet. And that means part of the payoff that should be riding on my hip is riding on someone else's. So, back with Cody's questions. Friendship. Character. Ethics. As. Mutt. As far as I know, and what I don't know in this town ain't worth knowing, the cops haven't closed any of your dives, and the DA hasn't touched any of your rackets. You haven't bought any license to kill bookies, and today I ain't selling any. <laughs> take your I'm sick of marching into this goddamn office to get your Irish ass! And I'm sick of the high hat! <laughs> I love this dialogue. I love the formalism of it all, but this is, um... Supposed to be overdone, right? The comedic in its effect. Friendship's got nothing to do with it. Well, you say you do anything to help your friends like you do anything to kick your enemies. Wrong, Leo. You do things for a reason. Okay, Tom. You know all the angles Christ better than anybody. But maybe you're wrong about this. You don't know what's in Furnace Heart. Leo, if she's such an angel, why are you looking for her at 4 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Wasn't he just with her? Uh, Tommy was, rather? I put a trail on it this afternoon. Sheriff sure. fucking grifter. Did you see Rook Daniels last night? No. What did you tell Leo? I told him you were a tramp and he should dump you. You're a son of a bitch, Tom. She's from. Oh, no, never mind. It's somebody else. I'm pretty sure it's somebody else. She from Entourage? Oh! Yeah, Tom, that's right. The guy could have more than one tank, can't he? I mean, not that I want a thing to know about it, but a square G like the Shimano, he's the right guy, Tom. He's a square shooter. I know he's got a mixed reputation, but for a sheen, he's got a lot of qualities. What's going on between you and Ben? Nothing, Tom. We're just friends, you know, amigos. Yeah, fit a boy, Mink. If any dame finds out that you got another amigo, well, I don't pick him for the understanding, Tom. Find out? How's he gonna find out, damn it, Tom? You and me ain't even been talking. Jesus, Tom, damn it, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me why. I'm just a small time of trying to get by like everyone else. I need help from my friends, like Leo and you. Leo gets your sister. What are you selling me? Come on, Tom, it's not like that at all. It wasn't my idea. You should sleep with anyone, you know that. <laughs> oh! Does he want a pillow for his head? Okay, kid. Think about it. It's a mental state. For the to tank. You should know that if you don't do this thing, you're not gonna be in any shape to walk out of here. Would that be physically? Or just a mental state? <laughs> Admit that you've got a heart. Even though it may be small and feeble, and you can't remember the last time you used it. But no way we're gonna cast our feelings into words. I'd have memorized the song of summer. Maybe that's why I like you. He's not an entourage, but I love the part acting as well. It's definitely like a film part. Did I even fucking speak over that first part? This definitely has like a film noir type of feel to it. Pulp fiction y, not the movie, the genre. That's not 
really have, but that's dope. Sometimes she didn't like him, no. I wouldn't want you to know. Rug was following her. Maybe he knew where she was sleeping. And her wit. Maybes don't make it so. There's more than maybes. You've trusted me before. You've never lost anything. But I trust me on this. You don't mean that. She was with me. The night Rug was following her. The night you were up by. You gonna think he's just saying that to get him whatever. I believed it! Yeah, you should, sir! If I never see him again, it'll be soon enough. Told him. I'm shocked he fucking told him. You had to. I hope it worked. I'm just a good dog. I'm not a nobody. But I'll tell you what. I never crossed a friend. I never killed anybody. I never crossed a friend. No, you all bet. I'm not like those animals. This is not us. The tower was <laughs> fucking amazing. This is a dream. I'm praying to you. I can't die. I can't die. I'm here in the wood. Like a dumb animal. In the wood, like a dumb animal. Like a, like a, like a dumb animal. I can't look at you. Look at you. I can't kill me. Look at you. Mank was robbing me right along with the schmatter. What convinced you of that? Mank literally took a powder. We can't find him. The thing is, make an excuse for him. But personally, I think he was right. I think that Mank and Bernie was in it together. I think that Mank heard that you bumped the schmatter and, and lit out. You lousy son of a bitch. What game is he at? Ha 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 ha! Of course, there's always that wild card when, uh, Love is involved. I know Mink is any dance boy. Still, I... I don't make it that way. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Papa, Papa, I got a prize from the sister! Papa, Papa, I got a prize from the sister! Cash was fucking actor. He's gonna go mix between Soprano, Tony Soprano, and fucking... Papa, Papa, Jesus. You take a page out of this guy's book. And George I'll Costanza. Let you talk, a little more you think. So over the top, even for this movie. I know who I am. Hey, see you later. Jesus. Before I go, what's your boyfriend up to? Nothing I know about. Yeah, that doesn't figure for me. You dumping Leo for the guy who put a bullet in your brother? I didn't tell you. Ah. It's better, ready? Oh, oh shit! Big ass gun he's got. Might be dead. Wow! See, I want to watch you squirm. I want to see you sweat a little. This motherfucker is the worst. And when you smart me, 
It ruins it. <laughs> Dink! Oh, it tripped. You make me laugh, Tommy. You're gonna catch cold, and then you're no good to me. Good what job. What are you gonna do if you caught me? I just squirt a few, and then you let me go again. Good job, Bernie. God damn. You think you're so goddamn smart? You join up Johnny Casper. You bump Bernie Burnbound. Up is down. Black is white. Well, I think you're half smart. I think you were straight with your frail. I think you were queer with Johnny Casper, and I think you'd sooner join a ladies' league than gun a guy down. Then I hear from these two geniuses, they never even saw his rub out take place. Mm. I was just said I had to do it, he didn't say nothing. Shut up! I gotta be honest, I, while I'm enjoying this movie, I kind of hate Tommy's guts. Uh, Bernie makes you sick. There's not a lot of likable characters in this fucking movie. Except Leo, who's a fucking animal! I am gonna send you to a deep, dark place, and I am gonna have fun doing it. Oh, shit! He's gonna kill him. What's gonna happen? Casper? Get home without him! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! You lousy son of a bitch! If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a double cross artist! Uh. I had a feeling about this son of a bitch! That was awesome. And awkward. I feel like a fucking dream. One of those goddamn fucking surrealist films. This motherfucker just yelling in the goddamn corner. You got me to tell you where he was and then he killed him. I want to know why. What was in it for you? Nothing for me. Do it or don't do it, lady. Hurry up. Aww. I feel like an asshole. I like her. I said it before, I'm saying it again. I mean, it was your call. <laughs> what is this? What the hell are you talking about? You... You took my gun. It's just your word against mine. Not necessarily. You gonna do it or not? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Look in your heart. <laughs> Look in your heart. What hurt? Woo! Jesus, Tom, I'd do anything if you'd work for me again. I know I've made some bonehead plays. I know I can be pig-headed sometimes, but damn it, so can you. I need you. Things can be the way they were. Not after the girl, I can't. I know it. I just know it. Come on, man. As for you and Verna, well, I understand. You're both young. Damn it, Tom, I forgive you. I didn't ask for that, and I don't want it. That was Miller's Crossing, Where to Begin. First things first, I enjoyed that movie, even though it was a bit over the top. Uh, Casper, in particular, feels like he was taken from a different movie. He feels like he was taken from the fucking, uh, The Mask of Jim Carrey, and then dropped in this movie. Uh, I'm not complaining, because he might have been my second favorite character to watch. 
he was hilarious. Ethics. Um, I know this movie was made in 1990, but it felt like somebody told him to just do a Tony Soprano impression. <laughs> it told somebody told George Costanza to do a Tony Soprano impression. Um, it was hilarious. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Favorite character is Leo, without a question. That scene when they try to attack him at his house, or kill him at his house, they did attack him at his house, tried to kill him at his house, is one of my favorite movie scenes ever. First of all, the two fucking um, button men, we call them, walking the steps together, that shot of the two guns with them, with the, just their feet, just their lower body showing. It's dope. That's number one. Number two, Leo's a badass. And number three, the way they died, uh, particularly my man in the window. Ugh. Ugh. I don't really like that. Now, as for Tommy, uh, I said I didn't like Gabriel Byrne's uh, acting. In the beginning of this movie. By the end, I kind of loved it. I kind of got to get used to it. Get into the flow of it. I thought it was a was really solid performance by the end. Um, character still bothered me. Though, hey, whenever you have a plan, a detailed plan of that, and you put it together, you're going to end up on the right side of the ledger. And I, he barely did. You know, he was a complete son of a bitch. As for the movie overall, I don't know. I know I liked it. I don't know how much I liked it. It feels like a movie you probably get more out of the more you watch it. Verna, I did do a lot. Kind of, um... I don't know what the word movie was. I, I, she's not a film... Well, I guess she's a film fatale, technically. But I thoroughly enjoyed her. And I fucking... Oh, also I forgot. Fucking, uh, Bernie Birnbaum. <laughs> that performance is splendid. He's such a fucking worm, but he's a savage. When he has upper hand, he's a savage. When he's got the fucking uh, lower hand, he's just a complete fucking worm, begging and crying and pissing his pants and can't shut up. He's just a, the worst. He does not know when to stop. And again, this fucking head blown off. That was fucking awesome. You know what? I'd go really liked. I'm gonna go really liked. Anyway, um, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.